it's time once again ladies and germs for that scrapbooker you've all been waiting for the one the only the lady who spends all my money but I still call honey Terry Strawberry <laughs> does it get sillier every time you hear him okay I've been um, I've been on vacation. We went to a wedding and then um, we decided to stay for a week. Actually, we planned ahead that we would stay for a week. So um, when I got back, I had my pre-order from Cherry on Top. And so I'm going to show you that. So here's the first thing. And you know it's going to be Minte. And because, you know, I can't help myself. <laughs> I love the Mente papers. Okay, so the first one here is Mente's Places We Go. Oh, the places will go. Isn't that Dr. Seuss? So, um, here's the front page that has all the, the pieces to fussy cut. Now, I have not seen this in person. I'm seeing it for the first time with you. And it is so cute. I love it. Look at this. It's a camera with a cupcake on it. It's just so adorable. I just want to scrapbook the scrapbook paper. <laughs> it's just adorable. Look at the luggage. And look at the old car with the luggage on it. It's just adorable. I just love it. So there's that. This is page one. This would be really good for a European trip. Um, we were going to go to Italy, and then my mother-in-law got sick, so we haven't gone. But I hope that's that's the only place I'd really like to go. <laughs> it's Italy, because um, I'd love to go see all of Michelangelo's work. So this is paper two. This is paper three. Where the wedding was um, in Florida, it was at the, it was, I think it was just called the Pearl. And it kind of resembled this, but they had um, different awnings. But it kind of looked old timey like that, a little bit. But mostly in black and white. So this is four. It just looks like somebody just, like it's raining flowers, so cute. Beautiful brick, in the same color as like the terracotta wash. Another, this almost looks like, I was gonna say it almost looks like the same thing but bigger. But this has more flowers together. So that was page five. And I love all their woods. They do fantastic woods. And then these are the three by four cut aparts. And they are adorable too. Love it. There is that one with the cupcake on it. That is just so cute. And I love compasses. I would I would like to just collect compasses. But I won't be doing that. I collect too much paper to do that too. So that's that collection. And the back they're doing different now. They don't have frames on them. Which I kind of, I don't know, it's kind of nice to maybe have different ones. And I also purchased this, um, the 6x8, because they have like different sheets in it. So different papers. And sometimes these are kind of nice to actually lay on top of another paper and it's already a nice size. I mean if you put the photo on it with a matting and then you have the the bigger pattern on it for the this as your design. So here's there's bricks. Here's like a nice um, map. Oh, and there's all the cameras. So if you didn't get enough cameras for your life, you could just cut out all these. 
I mean, they're just so cute. So cute, so cute. I love them. And here's like a terracotta wash over the bricks and a wood. Beautiful, beautiful door. Look at that. Gorgeous. And so dimensional. I got a picture of the girls on a um, really neat door that I haven't scrapbooked yet. And we got another one the other day. And there's that with the compasses and the, the globes. And this would be a great Italy picture, as far as I know. I mean, I've only seen pictures of Italy. Giant brick, or it would be giant compared to what we usually see in pages. And there's a tiny pattern of that really pretty floral. And here's some stone. Here's some more fussy cutting pages. Butterflies, and I love it that they're smaller because I run out of the small butterflies so fast. And here's the tiny little flowers that looks like it's rainy flowers. And here's some more cut apart things and those are just adorable. I almost didn't get this collection because I thought, oh, you know, it's like, I always forget to take pictures when tra or you know, I take so few pictures when traveling. I think I'm back to the beginning. And I think this is one, but maybe not. Oh yeah, it's just that thick, okay. So back to the beginning, and there are, and I know I said this wrong time, one time, there's 24 double-sided pages, three of eight designs. So fun, fun, fun. Okay, and then, let's see, I have Nana's Kitchen, I was going to say Nana's Attic because they had Grandma's Attic, which is, I've been hoarding it. I really need to use it because I really am hoarding it. Okay, and so I need to use it as a collection obsession so I won't hoard it. So there's your front piece, and here's all the cut aparts, or the fussy cutting pieces. So cute. I, have, I think I have a fork that kind of looks like this, that it's just so pretty that I've just collected it because my mom had it, <laughs> one, one fork. But it is just beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I haven't looked at it enough yet. <laughs> okay, and this is page one. And here's the back and it's the plaid. Here's page two, so cute. I just love all the details, the little kitchen cupboard, the shelf. Oh, and recipes, fun. I can use that in my recipe book. And this is page three. That's super cute. I like their little um, corner cabinet. Isn't that adorable? I used to have an old coffee pot like that. And I don't know what, I think I just put it in the garage cell one day. I'm sad about that. Oh, just love the silverware. And plates. Super cute. And then it just looks like old school paper and then grid paper. And here's a beautiful floral. It looks like fabric. And then this one again has a, the background looks like a fabric and with flowers on it. That's very, very pretty. And here's your three by five note cards. But usually I end up cutting these out too and using them for more embellishments because I just can't have enough embellishments. <laughs> and these are so cute. The little, the little papers, I like that as a background. I mean, as something to write on. I mean, because it looks like paper and then you got your plaids and the little flowers, so cute. 
And so then we're back to the first ones again. And then I bought the six by eight of this also. Oh, so this looks like kind of a tablecloth or maybe a tablecloth with a special doily over the top. And then the painted brick. This looks like a fabric with a dot. This is super cute. Look at all the little tiny cups. I mean, I could totally cut all those out because it's so cute. I would. I think I might have a hard time not cutting them out, so maybe I could cut out this much and just save this for, to use for something else because I would really like to cut those out. Some wood, some kitchen tile, and this would be a great thing to write a recipe on and then put the photo up above. That would be adorable. And these are maybe herbs. Maybe they kind of look like herbs. So that's cute. Another kitchen tile. Another one of these. Is it identical? Oh, this one has a white background on a grid. And this has the green or like a it's like washed in green on white and then a grid and this beautiful floral so it's like the big one very some oh the big one has a darker background okay and oh and this is like the the um other the larger sheet and here's your cut aparts here so those are super cute. So you get different cut aparts in here too. And there's would be like a tablecloth or curtains, more cut aparts, china cabinets. Or these are called cupboards if they don't have doors, right? And then we're back to the beginning. Okay, and then oh wait a minute, let's see. So with this one, I also got the die cuts because I thought um, that's something I would use a lot. I don't want to take them out of the pack. Well, I do want to take them out of the package, but then I'll have you here forever. So that's just kind of, so you can see it pretty good. Sorry about the glare. Okay, and then I got her story and it's like I this is so awesome I mean it to me I don't know if you've seen my um, my scrap room tour then you you'll see that some of these things look like they could have been from there I mean I have one of the little the one I call it Molly because my sister is a hairstylist and she had a head and she called that Molly so I have I have a hand and I have the the body thing and so I called them all Molly <laughs> because of that but look at it. it's got the boxes that look like what we put our you know embellishments in or our photos I mean these could be photo albums and it's or these could be photo albums I mean it's like even though it's it's got mirrors and stuff and a record player. It's like I kind of seen it as my scrap room. So I thought that was really cute embellishments and I just thought it would be so fun to play with. And then plus you know it is got all the girly things in it. So I have that one. And then um, this is sheet one. No, this definitely looks like a bedroom, but it's got that in here, so I just keep thinking this is my scrap room. It's got the boxes. So cute, so cute. And remember, I'm seeing this for the first time, too, so I'm trying not to linger on it too much. And this looks like a wallpaper. And this looks like a double-doored bedroom. Totally would be a, a goal in my life. <laughs> I would love to have a bedroom that has double doors be so fun I've stayed at a place that the bedroom had double doors and windows these are always fun to have these are always fun to fussy cut so that will be a challenge 
um, whether to use this side or the other side. And this is really pretty. I mean, you know, their, their papers are just stunning. And then these little frames. Now, I would definitely take this over the little frames. And look at that. I mean, how would you like your bookcase to just look like that? It's just gorgeous. I would like all my books to look like that. <laughs> More of the frames. So frames on pink, frames on blue. I would definitely take the books. Okay, and this one is paper five. Beautiful floral. Their florals are always stunning. And it looks like it has like gold foiling in it. Like somebody was doing gold foiling. Well, it's not shiny like gold foiling, but it's like the way that they're laid on the paper. I'm sure it's to look like a leaf, but it almost looks like when you're playing with gold foil, which I've only done, I think, once. And then this just looks like beautiful fabric. And here's the three by four cut apart. They're very, very pretty. I love this so cute together. Sometimes it's fun just to cut these out or you know you can use the whole thing as cut aparts. I mean as the 3 by 4 cut apart but sometimes I'll cut them out and just use that design how they've done it. And then these little 3 by 4s. Okay so that's that whole set. And then I also bought the 6x8. I love having this as an extra thing. I mean, these are beautiful for matting. This is like the blue fabric, but in pink. There's like a piece of lace on wood. This looks like a love letter on beautiful, beautiful pink paper. So pretty. And this looks like wallpaper. This looks like wallpaper. So pretty. It's so thick, I keep thinking I have more paper than what's here. I guess it just seems weird because it's in a pad form then it's so thick. So a stripe, and then that, what do they call it? I can't even think of what it is. Yep, yeah, totally drawn a blank, and <laughs> I know what it is too. An argyle, is that it? I think it's an argyle, I don't know. Pretty sure it's Argo. Beautiful, beautiful wallpaper. This looks like Marie Antoinette's bedroom. It just reminds me of that. We studied furniture. It's like the bedrooms always look like that. So pretty. And then like a marble, and then that. What is it? Is it Harley? I don't know. Is it Harley Quinn? Harlequin? I don't know. I can't even think now. <laughs> okay. Pink wood with lace over it. Don't make me look at another one of those um, diamond shaped papers because <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. These are really pretty. It's got the powder puff. Really pretty bedroom chair. Oh, a corset. I told you how my um, granddaughter said, somebody said, asked her what she wanted for her theme and she goes, I don't know, I just want to wear a corset. <laughs> she wanted a party where she could wear a corset. So pretty. And gold stripe. Beautiful florals for the cut aparts. And we're back to the beginning. So pretty. And from that I bought the laser cuts, die cuts again because it had all those neat, fun things in it with the, you know, little photo boxes is what I want to keep calling them. And then the, the body thing, what is it? It's a dress form, the Molly. So those are so pretty and they're so delicately cut out, you know, like I can't do. Now look at the flowers, they did leave an outline around that, huh? But then they have the ones that aren't. How different. So pretty. OK, 
Okay, and then I purchase their floral books because I love them. I love to cut them out. I love to use them even if I'm not using Minte papers. I use them on different things. And look at those. Stunning. So pretty. And then on the back of the front you get the green which you could use for matting or you could use, you know, if you're doing small things like cards or anything, that works perfect for that. Again, oh my gosh, look at those two colors together. They're just gorgeous. Love it. So beautiful, beautiful red florals. And here's another, oh, this is kind of like a tomato orange, and this is kind of like a strawberry orange, or a strawberry red. Did I say tomato orange? It does, I thought it looked red until you see this next to it, then you realize it's that orange. So beautiful color. Here's some white florals and a lighter green, more white florals, and kind of a, it's almost got a, I don't know, like a golden, like maybe French vanilla, really pretty. More beautiful flowers, and these are pink with a, I don't know, just a hint of a reddish color in it, really pretty. And this one's more pinky. And then purple flowers. And then we're back to the beginning, yes. And these ones you get four of six designs. So you get 24 again. And then floral book seven. And this one has a blue, and it's got yellow, and I love blue and yellow together. Look at that sunflower. It is, I mean, all the florals are beautiful, but I mean, that looks so realistic. I just love it. So pretty. And you know, when you look up, up these, you know, you get to look at every paper of the big mente ones, these ones you don't get to look at everything, so it's really interesting seeing them now. Okay, a yellow background and blue flowers. And look at the hydrangeas. So pretty. And the little blue flowers. This looks oh, my camera shut off. It does that after 20 minutes, so I know I'm going long, sorry. But I, I hate to cut it short fast. I hate to be too fast and you don't get to see them because you don't get to see these ones. So pretty. Okay. Oh, and look at these. They're so dark. But so gorgeous. Like a deep, super dark purple. Ah, oh, the colors are just stunning. I hope you can see how stunning they are. So beautiful. And then a green and the purple. Is this how I started out? Was this the first page? I don't know. No, it's not. Okay, so there's the purple flowers and a purple background. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now we're back to the beginning. They're all just beautiful. I cannot wait to cut them out. Okay, and then here is the greenery book, and I don't think they've had one that just had greenery in it for all, as far as I know. This is so pretty. I would like to have that as a big sheet. It's so pretty. And then all these green leaves, and a green marbly color, or it kind of, um, I did my son's <laughs> bedroom and it, it kind of looked like that and I kind of rag rolled it. So pretty. All the flowers, these have that bit of orange or tan in it. And then the, 
all the different color green. These are really subtle colors of green there. Another dark colored green. And these are just, I mean, look at, they gave you a whole bunch. I mean, I love this because it, sometimes I just get my favorite leaf and I'm doing that, but then sometimes you need it the other way. So that's perfect. Another green background and more green leaves. I mean, it's all going to be a lot of green. Oh, I just I say that, here we got brown ones and kind of a, um, what I want to say, it's got a hint of blue to it. Kind of a sagey color. Here's a dark green and more colors into this with the browns, a little bit of blue. And is that back to the same one? Okay, yep, so we had actually seen this, yep, with the purples in it. Okay, so that's it for that one. Okay, and then I bought, so, oh, must be if you buy enough mente, they send you one of these, because I got one before. And these look like the Elodi. I don't, I'm never knowing if I'm pronouncing that right. But, so this side has the florals and these little hearts. And then the back looks like this, like it's wood or fabric with the flowers, which is so beautiful. So you got, I got that with, that was just a free gift. So the other one I bought was this Memory Place and it's called Book Lover. And I'll show you why I bought this in a minute. So it has the three by four cut aparts. So that's really cute. I wish it would say visual storytellers because that's what we all are. Elsa's Adventures in Wonderland. I mean, it's really cute. I do have a really great picture of Alex reading while she was at the while she was at the ice rink because she had to go up for school, I guess. So you get two of those, and it's got this. It kind of looks like that ship lap. And then this one here, I mean, this, it's just such a pretty paper. I just love it. It's a little more whimsical. So this one's got letters all over it. So you get two of each. And this one here with the, the smart owls, the wise owls, you know, they're wise because they have glasses. And this is how come I bought it. I love paper that has these like little misty things like, you know how when you're looking at a carnival or something or the lights that are further away and you see those little, they almost look like filtered spots or so. I don't, I never know how to describe them. But I love that look and that paper always gets me. So two of those. And of course they have all the famous books down at the bottom at Anne of Green Gables, Heidi, Pride and Prejudice, one of my favorites. And another one of those papers. So, I mean, this is really cute, but I mean, this paper has my heart. <laughs> now, I've, now I've got such a pile over here with those little, um, Six by eight, so you got two of those. I have two of my favorites papers. <laughs> and this one here, I love the looks of this. It's got the grid on the back. And look at this, it even has those little spots on the outside of that, so that's super pretty. I just love that. It's got that grid. And this one here, a cut apart sheet but I would have a hard time cutting apart the cut apart sheet when I love this so much. So pretty. I might have to cut out one. We'll see. So pretty. I guess I got the um, three by four cards I could cut apart. So I can cut apart these things, but maybe one of these I would have to cut them out. But, but maybe not, because I did buy 
this little package. You get 24 pieces in there and they're kind of all bunched together. So I'm not taking them out of the package because I've already kept you a long time, but there they are. I know it's kind of hard to see when, let me see if I can kind of pull it in. Cause it's like if I put it up too far, then the light is in the wrong place. Now I have to say, it doesn't look like there's 24 pieces there. I'm gonna pop them out. Maybe you get two of everything? I don't know. This is the last thing. So I'm just gonna dump, dump them out so you can just kind of see them. Because there's 24. And they didn't look like there was that many when you look at them, but maybe there's two of everything? No? I guess we get so used to looking at, you know, packages of 36 or whatever some of them come as. So I do have already a reading picture, which I didn't have when I ordered this. I really just ordered it because it was so adorable. So there must be 24 here. Okay. There's five. There's five. There's five. Yep. There you go. So there is 24 there. Okay. So cute. So cute. And I love, love, love the paper. Oh, you know what? This actually has those little spots on it too. Because there's two here. Yeah, some up here. It's not as noticeable on that though. Super cute. Okay, so that's it for today. And I will be back tomorrow with some scrapbooking. And have a wonderful day. See you then. Bye-bye.